Sessions. That's local weather coverage you can count on. Local coverage you can count on continues with Seattle Tufts. You're watching Wayne 15 First News Weekend. If you didn't know, we've made the decision to not allow guests in the studio for safety precautions, but we still want you to have some science fun with Science Central Executive Director Martin Fisher. He recorded an experiment for us. Let's see what he's up to this week. Today we're going to do an experiment, an easy experiment that you'll even be able to try at home. You probably already have most of the materials around your house. It's something that chemists call chromatography. Chroma coming from Greek for color and graphy relating to drawing or writing. What we're going to do is we're going to split something that has one color into many colors. Chromatography is a technique that chemists will use to split different chemicals and see what's there in their material. What you're going to need is a plastic cup with a little bit of water. I always make sure to use plastic. That way if I accidentally drop it, I don't have to worry about glass shards everywhere. Next, you'll go ahead and get a coffee filter and you'll cut off some thin strips. It doesn't matter if it's the round edge or if you have the longer straight pieces from the center. Now here's the important part. You'll want a water-soluble black marker. And then just go ahead and draw whatever you want. You could draw a couple of spots or a single line or you could even draw a picture if you would like. I did a smiley face. Then using a pencil you're going to either loop your piece of paper and let it hang over the edge of the pencil or if you want to play it safe you can even tape it the way I did with this piece. And just use any kind of tape at all and it'll work. Then very carefully you'll place the coffee filter into the water. Now here's an important thing to think about. Make sure that your drawing doesn't actually get into the water. You want your drawing to be slightly over the water. As I place it into the water, the water will start to move up through the fibers of paper, my filter paper. Then the water will eventually reach the black ink. and It's just starting to get there now. But it continues to move up. It continues to move up those paper fibers. And as it moves up, it brings the ink with it. And here's the cool part. We thought that it was just black ink, but it turns out that black ink is actually a mix, a mixture of other colors of ink. And using this technique, chromatography, we're able to separate those different colors. And it turns out that, as you can see right now, the red ink, excuse me, the black ink, it also has, I can see a little bit of yellow, some orange, maybe even a little bit of blue. I'm gonna put it off on the side and I'll show you some that I did earlier today and then just taped them to this piece of paper. You can see that the black ink continued to move up the coffee filters and we have yellow, red, pink, blue, black, all sorts of different colors all mixed in. And then just for fun, off on the side, I tried another experiment where I used a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Didn't split into as many colors, but you can still see some. An easy experiment to try at home with chromatography. I'm Martin Fisher from Science Central. Thanks for joining me this morning.